We were part of a master plan team that won a competition organised by Southwark Council for the regeneration of Canada Water. And we were the architects for the library in that scheme. Before the library was built, the site was pretty much a derelict, overgrown, grassy area. And it was a, a space that people used really just for a quick cut through to the underground station. The great thing about Southwark is that right from the start they involved the local community, right from the master planning, and they really wanted it to be a communal place with um, a community performance space as well as a cafe and, and kind of places to get together. But essentially, a library is actually a place to get away from the community, to a place where you can discover worlds, other worlds. We use the good old fashioned survey forms like everyone does. There's a festival every year in the park here which has seven or 8,000 people attending, so we were able to, to catch a lot of people there. People wanted a bigger library with more books, longer opening hours, but also the chance to uh, see a film, to watch a play, listen to some live music, perhaps take a course. When Southwark finally wrote their required brief for the library, it was much, much bigger than the site that the master planners had allowed uh, for it. And so uh, we were obliged to try and make a library that sat on a sort of postage stamp size uh, but they needed a library that was much larger. The small footprint meant almost like a stiletto on a lady's shoe. We had very little contact with the ground and the ground itself is made up over the last hundred years or so, so it's very poor ground. We said why don't you just, you know, go outwards and have library all on one level. They went that's exactly what we want really. Um, because it's easier to supervise more than anything else. It, it reduces staff, means they can stay open longer and so on. It has great ramifications and consequences. To make an inverted pyramid stand up is much more difficult compared to, say, a, a normal pyramid, which just sit, you can sit on. All of the edges that you see are made from leaning columns in steel. So what effectively happens is the columns lean and then they're tied back to the core, which anchors and stops the building falling over in, in any direction. There is a sort of magic to libraries, a, a kind of a realm of ideas. And so on our design, it's all strongly coloured at ground floor um, and about richness and joining together and meeting. And then you go up the staircase, it gets quieter and quieter and quieter and you go into a kind of um, white zone, a kind of cloud zone uh, in the sky where you can think um, and have ideas and, and take ideas from books and other sources. So that to us was a very important sort of physical manifestation of the idea of the library. Not as a sort of stuffy depository but as a place of, of dreaming and ideas. I think the, the skin of the building is what adds the, the glamour and, and the beauty to the building. And that is um, a bronze anodized aluminium sheets. It's expanded aluminium, which is when you cut slots in it and pull it apart and make it ripple. And this cladding ripples really in imitation of the water below it. What happens is that the sun bounces up onto the building, so you get this ripple that you get on many buildings uh, by water, but this one has the added sort of poetry of the fact that the building has already got ripples on it. So you've got ripples on ripples, which is a sort of a very rich and delightful, makes it look gorgeous. It kind of stands out like a jewel, which I think is what Piers had intended to do right at the beginning. This building has a real impact on the lives of local people. We've had about a quarter of a million visits in the first six months. And even something just as simple as somewhere to come and sit and study. A lot of people who live in Southwark don't have a quiet room that they can study in at home. Here there are almost 50 individual study spaces. There's free access to the internet and access to a whole range of materials that, that people wouldn't have elsewhere. What I like about this library is that it's so attractive that it draws kids in which is something that we're all aiming to do, get our kids into libraries early on. And please keep reading, reading and of course writing. Thank you. This is a time when nationally libraries are closing. We don't do that in Southwark. We open great new buildings like this and with other ones on the way. 